Hi everybody, um, I'm Nathan and I am here live with... I'm Randy from Butterfly Baby Doula Services. So um, I guess the word is out and I am having a baby, which is crazy because it actually so finally exciting. is happening, which is a huge um, milestone for myself. It's been an eight year journey. And so today the plan is to open this box. I have. Um, Randy, you saw me take the box down. It yeah. was right in the corner of my walk-in closet, the very top shelf. But you knew where it was. I knew where it was, and we've already kind of pre-opened this part. Um, so for me, I wanted to talk about it with you. You should say, what, what's this box? Um, so this box is actually um, a memory box, I guess that's what you called it. Yeah. And... It actually says Office of Origin Taiwan, so I'm not Taiwanese <laughs> or anything like that, but um, I was actually traveling uh, in Taiwan backpacking, um, not your typical backpacker, and I decided that I would start shopping for the baby that I uh, was supposed to have in um, 2012. And I guess I just got carried away, and that kind of happens with everybody. You get excited. Yeah. Absolutely you get excited. Was... That's normal. I got really excited and I just started shopping a lot and it didn't really fit my backpack. <laughs> and I actually ended up, I remember distinctly um, giving it to a gentleman that I met and I just said, here's the money, um, can you just ship it? And I'm just really busy going somewhere. And I, yeah. I remember telling myself like, even then it wasn't my um, first loss, but actually it was, um, I already had a loss before that and I just said, let's, cautiously um, be optimistic yeah and so I just sent it and I didn't even know if that guy would basically send the stuff I but gave him quite a bit of money it. for the postal yeah so anyways that's number one so I guess your number one point that we want to share in this video it's, it's okay to talk about it yeah absolutely we want to normalize it there's so much stigma in this world around loss it's mm -hmm. very common yeah it's super common like you talk about it you guaranteed you know a lot of people that have experienced it mm-hmm and it's okay to talk about it at any point in time. Um, I had an individual that told me that all I talked about was my losses. And it's, I really think it's not true because that for my own company and for my own identity, it's really been a big part of who I am. But I, I personally try not to talk about it all the time. Um, this individual also talked about how it's kind of related to, like, say, your divorce. And I said, well, even if you did have a divorce... Um, and you had to raise your kids by yourself, you should talk about it. And yeah. there's a lot of stigma with that Absolutely. too. Absolutely. And it's so okay I think it was a really unfair comparison to, to anybody who has had loss. And I think this video is very much about reclaiming that. And Absolutely. I'm not sure if that person would ever watch this, but I just think it's not very kind of you. So and it's a piece of who you are. This is a piece of your journey. Yes. It's part of your identity. And mm -hmm. you're allowed to talk about having brown hair and brown eyes as much as you're mm -hmm. allowed to talk about this. So, um, anyways, I just, I guess for me, when I open this box, which we better just do this soon, yeah. is I have no idea how I'm going to feel. And I actually have not remembered. I, I probably, I actually threw most of my stuff away. Oh my God. I really don't even know what's in here. Clearly this is not, oh, I think I, this, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, tra I travel a lot for people to know. So this is for... At the time, I wasn't really sure if it was a boy or girl, and apparently, I think I'm gonna have this soccer kid. <laughs> Memories. It's oh, nice. yes, so if anyone knows, I'm loving cows. So, at the time, for some reason, I just kept having dreams that I would have twins, and I don't know, I think maybe this box is for, for myself. So for those of you who are wondering, I'm definitely having a girl, so these are gonna be going on like garage sale or something. <laughs> I guess a girl could use these too. Absolutely. Girls wear shoes. And you never know. Maybe when it comes out, it will be... This is so Asia, hey? When it's wrapped up. <laughs> yeah, it's so here. And, um, yeah, I guess opening this box, for me... You get to experience what you experience. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this is doing in here, honestly. <laughs> oh. Hats off to my McGill days. I was a freshman in 20... 13, 2003. For some reason, I must have wanted to just keep it for a child. <laughs> Sometimes you can just throw stuff out of your memory box, yep. right? Um, let's look at this one. This is cute. Aw, to 
Holy for a boy, right? Yeah. That's yeah. sweet. So my um, previous loss was a boy, and I guess we would save it for a nice present for somebody else, maybe? You'll figure out, like, there Can might be things. Can you re-gift things for... Yeah, yeah I'll re-gift. Okay, I've so... Gifts. I, I am it. actually starting to get to some of the good stuff, and I'm actually... So I guess I was really excited about this, so I love hats, so... I think this is for me, but they're supposed <laughs> to be matching. I'm all about matching hats. Oh, freaking shit. <laughs> I have been looking for these for the last five years. I was like, Surprise. where the hell have these been? You found them. Well, I actually needed them like a couple years ago. So actually, clearly this box was opened after Taiwan. This is so insane. So for those of you, I don't know where I can help. I have every single um, finger puppet possible. Winnie the Pooh, bunny. bunny rabbits. Anyways, a lot of finger puppets. And here I was thinking, aw, this looks That's cute. That's cute. This is the, um, I remember keeping these because mm -hmm. I just threw out a lot of stuff for most people. Um, it's very hard when you lose something and just like, yeah. Get the shit out of here. Like, I'm not one of those parents that will get a nursery ready. I'm not a person that will, like, especially this Fly time. Fly by the seat of your pants? Well, I think for me, I must have just said, you know, I might keep it one day because mm -hmm. I ain't buying. I don't have a TV, as you can see. I don't yeah. have. Okay. Oh, yeah, so this is the one, right? This is, like, a matching set there for the baby and myself. I have a feeling that I am. It's just so cute. Do I look good? This is a very small one for the baby. It's adorable. Anyways, me and my matching set. It's a very Asian <laughs> thing. Yeah, and I'm actually really weirded out because I'm... I expected to be upset. I told you, you feel what you feel and that's when it comes. Clearly I needed some really big sweatpants for this baby. That's yeah. what it comes to lots. You can't judge what you feel. Sometimes you feel happy, sometimes you feel sad. I just kind angry. of expected to feel more upset. And I guess even as I'm thinking about this... Okay, let's look at what this is. You can see how new this is. I didn't even open it from the package. Oh, I remember this one. It was something. Oh, so cute. Ha ha. Oh, it, this is definitely for a girl. I don't know why I bought this you for a boy in the first place. Okay. Maybe I didn't know. Yeah, you're right. I didn't know and then you I just could, thought. It's unisex. Well, even if it is going to be a boy or if it was a boy, a, butter, a butterfly, a bumblebee needs to have. Got butterflies on the brain? Okay, this is my other matching one, as you can see. Oh. I spent like, actually I remember this now. So when I bought all these, um, I had, I, this was actually from Korea, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah. So I, I had traveled from Korea and I flew over to Taiwan and I bought these matching pet stuff. Mm. More pets. How are you feeling right now? I feel very surprised that I'm not, like, bawling. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I'm also excited that I can use some of it. Minus, like, my Miguel <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> oh, freaking hell. I can't swear the all swelling it. We should... So I think I remember really... This is, like, the cutest jacket ever. And I was kind of quite... Uh, four, four lads. lads. Oh, this is so cute. Yay. You're really getting into this now. Yeah, I remember not being sure if it was a girl or a boy now. Yeah. And so I bought these ones. Yeah, these are unisex, right? Yeah. And there was this too. I think it's supposed to be like a set. I think so. Because I was fictitiously thinking it might be twins. Oh, maybe I think so. I think I, when I bought it, I was just thinking... That I didn't know if the kid would like red or blue, <laughs> because kids it's like small. whatever they like. And it cost me three thirty three thousand six hundred whatever money that was, because I'm Asian and I keep the price tags. <laughs> More sweatpants. This is probably you a really set for someone. sweatpants. Well, it's easy access. This is probably a set to this. Yeah, probably. I think so. Yeah, this is. Matches up. I don't know. Maybe we need to. Sit. Oh, and of course I thought I would have two kids still. I don't think I, they had adult versions. Wow, I didn't even open these. It probably came with a bumblebee. Oh, 
like what does it mean by six? The size? I, I was guessing. Is that a six? A well, four. Okay, I was like, this is definitely. Yeah, I really six. like buying stuff for different sizes. Yeah. Because I've good. heard that like kids will. They grow fast. Oh, the panda thing. It's cute. Absolutely. So it is cute. so cute. I think this is really like the. Oh, me and my bloody hats. Look at this. There's a theme here. It was also because it was this very um, eccentric vendor in the one of these markets in Korea. Yeah. And I remember they were like, I don't know why I would remember that. It was probably like thirty dollars each or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Just like let me just spend all this money here, and I'll just go back to the hostel and sleep in a yeah. fifty dorm bed instead of a ten dorm bed and buy these hats. Because oh, I was always good. studying. Oh, I was always traveling on a budget. I guess the main point was this ebbs and flows thing. It absolutely does. So you went in thinking you'd feel something and... Oh my gosh, I was like ready to cry and I didn't. Um, I'm not really sure. What am I supposed to feel? You feel what you feel. You need to not judge it. And that's where we have issues. We're like, well, I feel this way, but why? Mm -hmm. We don't always need to know why. Yeah, I, I guess I could tell you guys that this will be the start of quite a few updates. And for me... I kind of imagined, for me the last few weeks, I feel like I'm letting go and moving on and it's very upsetting because I feel like I'm just moving on yeah. and it doesn't really feel right with me. And uh, I don't know if that's okay or not and I'm gonna have to wrestle with that. It's nice that I have all these hats to kind of distract myself and I totally am so ecstatic about finding those um, finger puppets. finger puppets, because I need them. <laughs> um, it's okay to move through. It's yeah. always going to be there. It's yeah, and it's very different. Things. This time it's a different gender. Um, and, and honestly, it's very upsetting because I feel like I should have opened this box after the baby's here, but I kind of wanted to know what was inside mm -hmm. out of practicality reasons. And like, now you can get excited over some of the things. I am, but still... Like very unsure, and when for people who have lost um, a baby, anxiety, in, is normal. anxiety is normal, absolutely, and it doesn't matter if you lose um, whether it's like a six week, any gestation, or twenty week, uh, full term, stillborn, yeah. or even big like, love is a big loss. Mm -hmm. So I think thank you for opening the box with me. I totally, I guess Randy expected to use a lot of Kleenex in a little know. package. And me being the bachelor, I thought I would use my <laughs> paper towel, but I am very strangely weirded out that I'm not crying and bawling. So see, maybe I'll cry as soon as we come off of live. For those of you um, interested, or just, I guess I will be doing some Facebook lives, mostly by myself, but thought that we would kick this off since I have less than um, four weeks to go. And, um, oh God, <laughs> Tether turn this off right now. Yeah. Thank you so much, and we'll keep you posted. And this is my journey. I guess if you have something nice to say, leave it. If it's not gonna be nice, I'll probably won't even look at it. So, this and is then, your story. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. And it's very important to seek out resources like Butterfly um, Baby Doula Services. Baby Doula Services or other really great uh, uh, loss coaches, um, loss counselors. Absolutely. Um, having yourself surrounded by people who understand loss and it's not easy. I thought this was so much going to be so much harder, but maybe ebbs I'm over it. Flows. Ebbs and flows. Exactly. Ebbs and flows. We can talk about that a little bit more. Absolutely. Maybe I'll turn on the camera when I actually am feeling really upset. There you go. So, bye. Have a good one.